Ivan McLean. I'm a sculptor in Portland, Oregon. So I've really found like the pieces I love the most are the simplest ones. And I very much like, I like circles and I like triangles a lot. I find something really intriguing about them. And I found out where what I loved about metal is how strong it is, how easy it is to work with, how you can do huge things re relatively simply. Because I still do stone carving and wood carving, and it's like with stone, man, if you make a mistake, chunk, you know, there you go and you're pretty much over. But with uh, metal, you can keep going. You know, when I'm making, when I'm making a, a, a sphere or, you know, kind of a shape like this, I really like it to be really very random. So when I'm cutting up the material, as you can kind of see this, like stainless steel comes in 12 foot length, I'll cut it up into just random pieces, not thinking about it. I just don't measure it out. I just kind of, I feel my way through it. And so kind of my goal in life, whether it's a joke or real, is I try not to use a tape measure or a level. It's just whatever looks good is what I'm going for. Dangers inherent with welding the number one is really breathing a lot of particulate, and I have not been as careful of that as I probably should have. The other thing is uh, vision, and I've been trying to get much better about that, and I have a very good welding helmet. And then the other thing are hands, and I have found I don't like gloves, but I do wear a glove on my left hand, which is the one that's really holding something I'm going to be welding. The hand that actually holds my welding gun, I don't like to wear a glove on just because I really like to feel what I'm doing, same with holding a grinder. And so it kind of tends to be the two hands, you know, this hand is protected from heat and then this hand isn't because it's a little further away. But it's just something you get used to. Overall, I really like the way uh, sculptures work in nature and how the uh, you know, like good landscape architecture, good landscape design really enhances. They kind of go back and forth. That a, a good sculpture can really make the landscape kind of jump out and vice versa. They're going to last a hell of a lot longer than I will. You know, like a piece like this is going to last a long time, you know, thousands of years. 